all right hello hello this is for the virgo signs um in particular ones dealing with sagittarius or scorpio um very interesting so i'm gonna pull the fairy tarot and garbage pill i just had a personal reading with the sagittarius and so i find it interesting because virgo was spotlighted but it's good news with virgo <laughs> there was some issues like temper tantrum stuff magician in reverse Ooh, that's what was underneath there okay um this is someone feeling like they don't have what it takes to manifest things this is even the gemini energy right here in reverse it could be ill manifestation or doing things you know what i mean in the dark trying to get what they want but they're doing it the wrong way that's why uh nine of autumn so there's no extra money someone's trying to manifest um, to have savings, to have extra. So maybe you saw you're dealing with Gemini. But right now there isn't a little extra. I mean, um, maybe they don't have time alone even. You need to reward yourself. Not being able to reward yourself, feeling like you don't have. Okay, that's just what was underneath there. Okay, Virgos. This is the month of June. This is for fun entertainment. Just looking in to see. Ah, okay, so, so far, like I said, Gemini energy. Maybe you have that on your chart. Dreamer. So now we got the Aries and the Pisces. Embrace your true purpose. Begin a new adventure. Trust yourself. All right, even the cardinal energy right there. You see that? Okay, Virgos. Uh, you guys are, uh, your opposite right is the Pisces, so you're a mutable sign. So maybe you also have, um, a Pisces or Aries. I see that cardinal sign. Libra, Capricorn, Cancer. But this is something new. Seven of Springs, even feeling like you need to defend something even. Trusting yourself. Don't back down from what you believe. Courageously stand up for yourself. But even fighting for it. Ooh. But there is other people that trying to... Other people in your space, right? That there's opposing goals arising from difficult opinions and differing opinions. Feeling at odds with yourself or others. Even overly ambitious people. Pushing and pulling in different directions. And Ace of Winter speaking honestly in the truth. Don't be deterred by challenges along the way. It's important to communicate clearly and accurately. There are amazing new ideas that should be implemented. Okay? Okay, Virgos. Mm, speaking honestly about dreams. About So, if this is specific, you could, for these Virgos, either you're dealing with or you have this in your chart, the Pisces, Aries, Gemini. That's what I see in specific. Feeling like you got to defend yourself. Um, trying to come out of an illusion from looking at different options. Um, right? And procrastination. This is the action time. June. The dreaming. <laughs> Pisces. Very interesting. I guess that's your opposite even. If your dreams don't scare you, they aren't big enough. So this was spotlighted actually for Leo, and I forgot to bring it up for Leos. Um, so maybe some of you also have Leo in your chart or you're dealing with them. But confidence, coffee in one hand and confidence in the other. Okay, Virgos. <laughs> um, maybe this is a message from Leo for you guys, whatever. Um, I was also seeing this, but if your dreams don't scare you, they aren't big enough. So bold Tuesday. I'm doing this on a Tuesday, actually. It's 5-5. Five, five. Or excuse me, it's 523. It's the shift of Gemini energy. But this is for looking into, you know, what's ahead. Um, this is why it feels it's new. Um, and maybe the new moon is spotlighted. But if your dreams don't scare you, they aren't big enough. Bold Tuesday. Think about your biggest dream. Now imagine you scaled it up 10 times. What does it look and feel like now? F begin a new adventure. Okay, even you are amazing. Own it, right? And coffee and confidence, okay? Be assertive. Don't back down from what you believe. Courageously stand up for yourself, you see? That's why I was saying there's like that Leo, that confidence even. 
okay and you are amazing and maybe we'll find out about these opposing viewpoints i see kind of taurus might be involved with that but maybe not ask the important people in your life how they see you so the important people you're amazing own it maybe that's from a taurus even what are five things they value most about you um maybe it's even gemini's it's cousins siblings neighbors the five. Hmm. And speaking truth, right? It's important to communicate clearly and accurately. There is amazing new ideas that should be implemented today. Better you try and fail than if you didn't try at all. Today, try doing something you've never done before. Maybe you'll be terrible. Just maybe you'll be great. Either way, it doesn't matter. Celebrate learning and growing. Okay, this is it. Dreams only work when you do, dreamer, Virgos. Dreams only work when you do. Make an action plan. What are the small things you can do in the next 24 hours to get closer to your dreams? And then do them, right? The pulling in, and that's the Virgo energy, even making the plan. All the small steps to see the big picture, right? Even standing up and defending what you want, right? Find at least an hour today to do something that's really meaningful and brings you happiness. Make today meaningful. It can be anything from calling a loved one to spending time on your hobby, to learning something new. What is this one even? Dress for the part, wear your favorite shoes, do your hair. Give yourself permission to feel good in your skin. Remind yourself of a time when you blew everyone's mind and you were a total head turner. Hmm. Today. Right? Okay. These are good. These are action cards. You can and you will. Even with these opposing viewpoints, facing a daunting task, set out to do it for just five minutes. The beginning is usually the hardest, but anyone can do a task like that for five minutes. And once you've begun, keep going. Fives, the fives, take five. <laughs> All right, and then speaking, don't settle. Better you try and fail than if you didn't try at all, right? And don't settle. Check in with yourself. Name your core values and promise that you will never settle for less. Yeah. Right? Okay, those are good. I like those. All right, we're going to get Garbage Bill Kids at 8.13, 8.14. Let's see what's going on. I see money, 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 dreaming, having a little extra, dreaming of having that extra savings. I saw the vulture. I did just before I came in here. Mm. That's kind of that fear, anxiety, even uh, feeling like there are people against you. Queen of Cups. Well, Virgos, either you're dealing with a Pisces or you're very in this dreamer quality. Are you dealing with the Cancer or Scorpionic? So much Pisces though, right? Uh, this is like feeling very compassionate and loving, emotional, happy. Ooh la la, dreamy. Virgo's all in the Pisces mode. <laughs> right, okay. Over here, maybe that's even the first of the month in, you know, in June. Are you dealing with that? Okay, Virgo, that's your opposite. Whatever. Okay, trying to make a decision even. Today, make a decision. Trust yourself even. Make today meaningful. Do something for you or call someone. You've been thinking about someone's lost their passion for fighting even. Oh, someone lost hope or healing. Okay. Here we go. This is what the fighting is about. Even No longer having this fight to battle with these opposing things, right? 
they've lost passion. They've lost hope. They feel like things can't be healed. This could be dealing with an Aquarius energy or a friend. Um, or this is you feeling like you don't want to battle or fight even an Aquarius, a friend, um, opposing viewpoints. Someone that feels like they got to defend themselves. Because there's this battling and opposing views. They're trying to block things. Mm, maybe a Taurus. Someone's waiting. They've invested the seven sevens again. So maybe a Cancer sign too, but something in July. Better you try than you didn't, you know, and fail than you didn't try at all. But stand in your values. The two of coins, someone juggling investments or money or how to invest money for a brand new world. Waiting for this thing to be completed. Like waiting for this investment. Um, right? Waiting patiently. So investing into something new. Trying something new. Right? Don't settle. This is even a really small offering. It's young energy. It's a little tiny bit of a kickback. Don't settle for less. Like, um, someone needs to rest and heal even. There could be a, some dreaminess, even just healing, resting during this time of June, dreaming of it. They're trying to make sure that you feel victorious about this, even defending yourself, making a decision so that you can feel victorious. Um, dealing with the moon sign, the emotions, that Pisces or Cancer. Um, not having the passion, like the drive. Yeah, and this, there's been fighting and undercutting, bickering, battling that's making someone lose hope, feeling like things can't be healed. Um, and someone is protecting or defending a child or a Leo their own happiness even you are okay someone's waiting like i said to they're collaborating to waiting for an investment right speaking communicating clearly about the time that's been invested and with this is money <laughs> virgo collaborating working um this is also very childish Someone is a little childish, what the return is, kind of unapologetic and feeling like they're controlling stuff. Some of you could be dealing with toxic things, something that's, there could be heavy drinking or partying or a Capricorn. Hmm. Okay. For this new world, wanting this completion. So standing up, defending yourself. Okay, defending yourself, Virgos, in the second week of June, possibly, but feeling victorious, even, uh, and, and that's the completion, so I feel like during the second week here, there will be completion, and then that's when the whole new world starts opening up, someone wants a second chance, judgment call, even, regarding their emotions, the moon, passion, Right? Because their husband feeling like they got to defend themselves and they're doing it all themselves. They feel wounded from this fighting that happens in the middle of the month. And underhanded cutting words, gossipy, uh, and it could have been an ex or a Gemini, someone who used to be a lover. Um, this is childish behavior and defensive. Mm. The lover's in reverse. So, someone, I mean, even speaking honestly about a partnership, don't be deterred by challenges along the way. Collaborating, working together, right? Waiting, all everything that's been invested. 
And it's not about love. This is about business. All right. Someone trying to have strength. Right. <laughs> this is a tiny little offer. Like dealing with a child or a Leo. All right. Not going to the party. There's no celebration. There's no reunion over here. Something was maybe toxic. And that's why it's a new beginning. It was There was boredom and apathy. That's why it needed to change for a new. The three four, but three in reverse. Yeah, wow, you got the world and the will upright in the second. So things finally are completed. There's that completion. And you're ready to defend things. A turn of the wheel. Good karma. Someone getting a second chance. Judgment. A second chance. And the apology coming through now. Loving. Compassionate. Even from a child or from this fighting. About the business. About money. Legacy. Inheritance. Property. Someone was trying to defend it, protect it. Um, and that's why things, it's been very slow. Um, very slow, this investment, this return. It's been very slow. They've been kind of greedy. Even they feel a lack mentality, like it's not coming through. So I'm trying to have strength and even hold on to money. And they're... <sighs> It's a very small return. But King of Cups over here. See, a new offer coming in for this. Right? Virgos. Finally coming in. And a King of Cups. So that Pisces, Cancer, Scorpionic, Masculine. Wow. A Scorpio, to be more precise. Something ends. Someone could have... I mean, there's a karmic will. Like, something transforms. They want a new beginning. This is even... Uh, you had the will. No. The passion. They had lost passion. They didn't have drive. Scorpio moon. Something ends, transforms, and helps move forward, move things forward with the king of swords. And they might be someone that a uh, Libra Gemini, I think, I mean, Gemini and Libra were here mainly, but that's that final card. Maybe they're, they own, you know, this legacy, this property, bit the business. Hmm. Interesting. Anything else for Virgos? This final week of June. Um, yeah, so then there'll be this juggling of what to do with the finances once you receive. It took a long, long time for this harvest. Um, someone's going to get that speak the truth. No, you get Ace of Winter, Ace of Winter about someone being greedy and a lack mentality. There's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. doesn't have to be that. Leo's also there too. Someone's trying to have strength even and holding off on money, speaking honestly about finances about greed, about a Taurus, oh, even about giving money to religious things, no longer feeling stuck in that type of a commitment, being able to emotionally detach and just be with family and Libra, and it's fair and justice. So Libra is part of your family or something. I don't know. Okay, Virgos, that was interesting. So getting the truth by the end of the month, all of it works out. Very fascinating. Okay, thanks so much. Bye-bye.